Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to the Idra Gamers Pokemon X Mono Seal Type Challenge. In the last episode, we did the Pokeball Factory, and as I was on my way out, we got into a conversation, so I thought I'd better start the episode from here. Hey, do you think it's okay to have a look around now? I'm sorry, Team Flair messed everything up. It's not a good time right now. Team Flair, have I heard that name somewhere? Would they be the people in the red suits from a minute ago? That's right, Trevor, Team Flair. They'll, they took all the Pokeballs back for us, but they're for everybody to use. How awful! It seems like I would be best not to get, get involved with those guys. You're right, Trevs. Team Flair sure is terrible. What should we do now? According to the town map, Dendermill Town is next. So we're gonna go off to Dendermill Town. Drew, you and Serena are really awesome. You're way stronger than those bad guys. Still, try not to do anything crazy, okay? See ya! Thank you. Everyone's okay thanks to you. If I keep relying on you like this, I'm gonna journey will lose in its meaning. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, please stop. <laughs> I just want to go. We're bringing you this special bulletin. The Pokeball factory in the area around Laverne City has been attacked. The identities of those involved are unknown. However, this is no ex is this is not so expected any. This is not expected to have any effect on the sales of Pokeballs. You didn't need to do that. Like there was no need for me to do that cutscene there. Okay, let's get on a bike, get down here, go heal up at the Pokemon Center. Do, 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 do. We can go to the next route and yay, we can we can um possibly find a new Pokemon. But I think the whole episode is gonna be pretty much the, this whole episode is gonna be like the next route. I didn't do another team recap in today's episode, but like it does save time me not doing it. Occasionally I'll do them. When I haven't done one in a while. Because I was doing one every episode pretty much, and it's just like, yeah, like it's just. Okay. I know some of these have trainers in them, some of them have items. I love this route because it's like all like autumnal and stuff, and I love it, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's get up. Pokemon, let's see. That's a, um... Ordino. Imagine it should be a good place to trade up if I can keep finding Ordinos. Lilith. Okay, cool. It's two. Two Pokemon, two Pokemon. Three. Ah, oh, Keops. <clears throat> so next, what we have... Who do we have next? Number four is... That's a Jellison. Got away safe, and then we've got one more to find. Which is a... Another Lily, so that doesn't count. Dedene, okay. So I haven't got any more seal types in a while, actually. I think the last one we got was Foodie, so. <clears throat> Come on. Let's get away from it. Get away from the Dedene. <laughs> somehow I somehow managed to get past her. I don't know how I did that. I wasn't trying to. And true. I think I have a chance of finding quite a few Pokemon on this route. Because um it's split into like three different sections. Three, three different sections. <laughs> I know it's split into numerous sections, like um There's like these ruins parts. 
I'm somehow managing to get... According to Professor Sukumo's research, Mega Evolution releases all of the Pokémon's hidden energy at once. The Pokémon then exhibits a level of power you could not attain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can you draw from this? Do all people in Pokémon have such potential, or is it just hidden within a chosen few? Dunno. <laughs> um... I've somehow managed to get through without finding a single trainer yet, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Because there's this sec- there's a section that I've already been on, and there's a section where you go underground into like a ruined hotel or something, and then there's a section to the s to like the south as well, so I'm kind of, um, interested to see what I find. Okay, I have to fight you, I haven't got to choose in the matter. Ah, uh, did you hear the voice too? That's why we're, you're here, right? Uh. <laughs> Dwosion. Okay, let's get Danji on it. So we've got a little while before the um, seventh gym. So the actually, I forgot. We have um, so between the seventh gym and. The sixth and seventh gym, you had the Pokeball Factory, and then you have this whole route, and then you have Dendermill Town, and then you have the Ice Cave bit, and then you have getting down to where the seventh gym is, and then you do the seventh gym. So, oh god, I can have a nose pass, I can have a pro pass on my team. I'm not going to, but I could have one. I forgot that the Probe Pass was part of Steel. Okay, let's um, check out down here. Uh, so I think you can just find Pokemon here naturally though, can't you? Or is it just all in there? Yeah, you can. Malamar? Couldn't get away, of course not. Have you ever, has anyone actually ever turned like Malamar upside down to see what it actually would look like? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I want to see. If this is a Rotom, then I can't use it. I mean, okay, we'll use we'll use that as an encounter, because it's only fair. It's weird how Rotom's had it. You can actually find Rotom in all its forms down here. Because like you open up the the trash cans and they're just like in there, or the wheelie bins. Okay, two, three. A shallows. Got away safe. Okay. Four. Porygon two. Porygon two. And then number three. Uh, uh, number five. Is... Is it going to be a lucky... I might come back and do all these like sections that I've missed because there's like some items I can get in here. The Gligar. Okay, no. No steel type for me. Again. <laughs> Big sad. Couldn't get away, of course. Friend. Okay. And then, if you come down here. This is actually another path, so you can get another chance of finding a Pokemon. No?
Um, ah. Oh. I'm trying to remember, there's a, there a couple of sections to this route, I think. There's like, this whole route is route 16. And I think it goes to like, um, a route where you can get the super rod. I think that's still part of the same route. I don't think that's a separate route. It goes to like Lumino City. Simmer Sage. Well, it's really 10 minutes into the episode. I thought this route was going to take me a lot longer. It's because I didn't find any of the trainers or anything, so. Or many of the trainers. Didn't do too much. I just don't want to risk like missing like my last um I don't want to risk it just like I could end up missing or something. Thanks. Oh, go away. So I think that down there is the same part of the route. Okay, so that's number one. Can get away, of course not. Like I said, what I might do between this episode and the next episode, I might go off and get all the items around here and stuff. And then just kind of trade up a little bit, because I feel like we are underleveled. So I might get try and get everyone to around level 38 to 40, depending. Number three. Is that another Lumineon, which doesn't count? Don't get away. Metamech! Thank you. Next one is... Oh my god, jeez. I'm like moving like one step at a time. Please don't be another leave me down. Okay, Munchlax is number three. Got away safely. Number... Jesus Christ. Number four is a Politoed. A lot of water types. And get away. Number four. <sighs> Number five is a Lombre doesn't count. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, number five, hopefully. This will be the last one. It's a Genesect and it doesn't count because it's a legendary and it's a thing. So that's technically number five. I did find a Steel type, but it's the one I can't I can't count because it's a Genesect. So. We still have a chance of finding one more. It's got Flame Charge. I forgot the Genesect does get, does get Flame Charge. It's kind of funny. Come on, get out of here. Get out! I have one more Pokemon to find. Got away safely, thank you. Just one more, please be a Steel type that I can catch. It's been a long time since I've caught Steel type. Number five. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Just 
just let me go, please. No, of course not. I just want to get to Dender Mill Town. I want to get to... That's my goal for this episode, to get to Dender Mill Town. I know it's been a, like a kind of a rubbish episode, and I apologize for that. Because I haven't really done anything, apart from trying to look for Pokemon and stuff, and... Just have my Pokemon, like, faint. In. Just run from the Genesex. It's not that hard. Thank you. Ugh. One more Pokemon. <laughs> I don't think I've asked this question of the day either, so I'm going to say... What is your favorite? <laughs> Pissing me off. <laughs> Couldn't get away. It's going to Zen headbutt me and then I'm going to faint and then I'm going to try and run and it's like, oh, let me run away. <sighs> what is your favorite? One more, please. Just one more that's different from the rest. Not hard. That's really annoying, to be honest. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go to that route down there, and hopefully I can get to like some flowers or something, and get to that section, and not. All this experience, but it's just like, it was kind of annoying because I was just like getting ready to go down. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a lot of experience. Okay, let's just do a Metal Claw. Chess is going to take that. Um, question of the day, question of the day. Who is your favorite, or what, what do you, what is your favorite... Got black sludge, hilarious. Um. Oh my god, I can't think of anything. My brain's kind of broken now because I've been recording like all day. I've been recording for like, the last like four hours or something. Um, and a mighty Anna, Okay, I'm just gonna say in. What is your favorite, um... I didn't mean to use Sword Dance. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Uh, what is your favorite? I guess I'm gonna say, what's your favorite? I, I don't know. I think I've asked that. I don't know which ones I've asked on this series and which ones I've asked on the other series. Okay, let me get against a double. Do I have to fight the double battle? Yes, I do. Okay, I don't want to fight the double battle. Again. Okay, that's not bad. I'm just gonna ask it. And so it's hard. It's actually really hard because, like, right now I'm just blanking. I'm like, have I asked this question? Probably this one, yeah. Um. I just want to ask a basic question. Uh, what is your favorite? That could actually take me out. Yeah, of course it did. Of course it did. What is your favorite? Let's just go, what is your favorite Pikachu clone? I think I've asked that. I don't know if I've asked that. I'll have to go over it. If I have asked that before, then I will. I will change the question to something like random. Um, but for now, I'm going to say, what's your favorite Pikachu clone? So that's going to be the question of the day. 
And this uh, episode's been kind of ratchet, to be honest. Are you serious? I just wanted to... Oh. Didn't want to get into any more battles. I just wanted to get to Dender Mill Town and heal up. But I guess this woman is not going to let me. So I got a worm pull there, so that's fine. It's experience. Because basically we didn't get anything done today. I took the time to uh, try and find Pokemon and I didn't get Pokemon. And then I got weighed up, waylaid by fucking like four Genesects and then not being able to run away from them. Or just running away from any Pokemon on the route. Um, so I do want to go to Dendermill Town real quick because I know it's up here. <laughs> At least that like, can get one story point done today and just get to Dendermill Town. But off screen, what I'm going to do, I'm going to trade up a little bit. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go to each of the areas and just like try and find the items that I was looking for and stuff. Because I didn't go through any of the uh, houses in um, Laver City as well to, to do that. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if I find a steel type as my encounter for the other area, I will record it and me catching it. But if not, then I won't, it won't be at the start of the next episode. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.